Yo, what's good, y'all? It's the Catch Show Yannicka. On my way to the Camel Center, Lady Alma is gonna be playing today. She's gonna be performing, so I'm about to sit in with her. We got a bunch of people coming through today, Colin and his people, you know. So it's gonna be a lit time. Let's hope we get on stage and, you know, pull it off.
this song right here, it went viral. Who saw the African dude?
so. sitting in. What do you guys' thoughts? What do you think of this performance? I thought it was cool. You know, it's always loud every time there's one of these kinds of events. But the band was tight. The fact that they were doing house music, which I've never really heard live house music, it was still pretty cool. You know, Catchy got up naturally and freaking killed it. <laughs> Terrell over here did an awesome job on bass, and not only bass, but he also did vocals for a bit. And I thought it was really cool. It was good energy. Everyone got a share to go up and express themselves because they were calling up vocalists and rappers. So it was cool. I wish I hopped on these. Huh? <laughs> One and only, Terrell. What's going on, guys? I, I I thought it was pretty cool. I was I was nervous at first, you know, going up there and everything. But it was it was pretty good. The 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 difference between like you know this and like something like you know organized like a like a like a church thing or whatever because that's what I'm used to. It's just kind of the people. You don't know the people. And they like there's um like there's no more musicians that will probably be able to one up you or whatever or whatever. But that's good because you know you can get you know more experience from those uh, those musicians that have more experience. It was it was good overall. I'm glad I was pretty confident you know to go up there and play. Matt just got out of a real nice a jam and just sit in. I liked it. Lady Alma, she killed it. She definitely brought the energy forward. For all the great musicians to come up and put their input in. And I gotta say, this show was impressive just for the fact that I never really quite knew what could have been done on so many different instruments. All these different techniques, all these different diverse phrases and stuff. As a guitarist, I'm always looking for that next phrase, that next you know thing I can say or express or get out to the audience and I thought it was so cool seeing like for example the guitarist this guy he was playing house music with the 
fender telecast, but I've never seen anyone do that. That was awesome to me because, like I said, I mean, I got inspired. I got started playing guitar by guys that were all about that type of, you know, the improvisational style. You know, they didn't, you know, they weren't about just playing simple licks or something. Like that. They were all about, you know, seeing what other techniques they can do with their sound, and seeing what they can do with the effects, and seeing how they can, you know, create energy with more space. That's what I thought was really awesome. It's just like, Pharrell killed it, and you killed it. Yeah. Playing, going up there, you know, switching your parts off with the other saxophones. That was that was brilliant. I I enjoyed that thoroughly, and uh, I definitely hope to participate in one of those in the future. Most definitely, most definitely. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos from us. I dropped a penny. <laughs> Also, make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And follow us on social media. Links will be down below in the description. I'll also leave them down below in the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.